Hello everyone, it's Mr. Haskins here. Today we're going to work with patterns and I'm going to show you how to make a spider web and some spiders. Uh, for this, uh, my students, uh, last year we did some colored paper, we did crayons. You can use whatever you have at home, either just a plain white sheet of paper with a pencil or um, if you want yours to kind of turn out like this, you can have a colored piece of paper and do some white uh, crayons and some black for the spiders. But basically what we're gonna do for this, we're gonna take our paper, imagine this is my paper here, and I'm gonna put a dot somewhere on my paper. It could be right in the middle, it could be off to the side. I wanna put it up here just so that it's not right in the middle, just be a little different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some lines coming off my, my dot. Kind of looks like I zoomed in on a slice of pizza or a pizza. And maybe it kind of looks like the inside of an umbrella. Well, we're going to make it look like spider web. So we're going to take this pattern that we've made with all these triangles. And we're going to make some more lines. Watch how I do. I'm just kind of like take a bended line, just like that. And I go up each of my triangles. They get smaller and smaller. All right. Kind of go in between my lines here to do the next one. Just like that. And that kind of makes the spider web look like it's... 3D a little bit, kind of comes off your page. Just kind of come around, do each one of your lines. This really looks good with the uh, white chalk on paper, on colored paper. Other things that you can do now that we kind of have our basic spider web shape, we can do some spiders. So let's kind of go back to the skill we've been building of using letters and numbers and simple shapes to kind of draw. Off to the side here, before I put it even on this paper, I'm going to draw a spider. So for the body, I might do something kind of like, say like I do kind of like a bumpy circle. For the head, I can put like a smaller circle inside here, an oval. Spiders have a lot of eyes, so you can put lots of little circles or letter O's or zeros over there. If you want some real scary, you could kind of do some fangs, maybe little triangles. Then spiders have eight legs, so you want to put eight legs kind of coming off to the side. So we do four on this side. Four on the other side. So there's my spider. There's a couple different things that you could do with this. You could draw your spider on another sheet of paper cut them out and then glue them onto your paper. Or if you'd rather just draw him right on top here, you can kind of find a spot somewhere on the web for him to live. Just kind of go here and make your spider, shade him in whatever color that, that you want. You can even do things like we did a, a couple lessons ago. If you want to give your eyebrows, uh, your spider some eyebrows, make them kind of look mean. Can do that too given that emotion we talked about. Let's do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, like just like this student here, if you want to add even more spiders to your scene, it doesn't just have to have just one. But this kind of might give you a nice seasonal decoration to hang up to kind of celebrate the fall. Well, I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. I'm excited to see what you come up with and share some soon examples with you. Thank you very much, and you guys have a great day. Bye.